Ever pondered over the story behind the rise of Kmart as a household name? How did it emerge from the shadows to take center stage in the world of retail? Buckle up as we embark on a journey through time, tracing the footsteps of Kmart's remarkable chronicle. Back in 1962, an entrepreneur named Sebastian S. Kresge had a vision. He dreamt of a discount department store that offered quality products at affordable prices, and the first Kmart store was born in Garden City, Michigan. Kresge's vision was simple, to make shopping convenient and budget-friendly for the average American family. In the early years, Kmart was a trailblazer in the retail industry. It was among the first to introduce the concept of the blue light special. Picture this, a police-style rotating blue light, accompanied by an announcement for a surprise discount in a specific department. This innovation brought an element of excitement to shopping, making it an event rather than a chore. As the decades rolled on, Kmart expanded rapidly across the United States. By the 1970s, there were more Kmart stores than any other department store chain in the country. The company even branched out into other ventures, including the introduction of the now internationally recognized brands, Borders and Walden Books. However, the journey was not without its fair share of bumps. The 1980s marked a period of struggle for Kmart. With the rise of fierce competition from other discount retailers like Walmart and Target, Kmart found itself in a challenging position. Nevertheless, Kmart was not one to back down. The company underwent a significant rebranding in the 90s, striving to improve its image and regain its competitive edge. It focused on renovating stores, improving customer service and expanding product lines. But the turn of the millennium saw Kmart face its most significant challenge yet. In 2002, the company filed for bankruptcy. It was a shocking moment, yet, despite the odds, Kmart managed to re-emerge from bankruptcy a year later, even merging with another struggling retail giant, Sears. In more recent years, Kmart has continued to grapple with an evolving retail landscape. Store closures and dwindling sales have become a part of its narrative, yet the brand persists, a testament to its resilience and the legacy it has built over the years. So, what have we learned from the Kmart saga? It's a tale of innovation and expansion, of struggle and resilience. From its inception in 1962 to its current status, Kmart's journey is a testament to the ups and downs of the retail industry. It was a pioneer in discount retailing, a trendsetter with its blue light specials, and a survivor, rising from bankruptcy to continue its story. Despite the challenges, Kmart remains a recognizable name, etched in the annals of retail history. Its journey offers valuable insights into the world of retail, shedding light on both the opportunities and challenges that lie within. And there you have it, the story of Kmart, a journey that spans over six decades filled with triumphs and tribulations. From a single store in Michigan to a nationwide chain, Kmart's tale is a fascinating study in retail evolution. And while the future may be uncertain, one thing is clear, Kmart's legacy in the world of retail is undeniable.